Hi again. Uh, this is a short video on classroom observation. Um, and uh, what I want to show you are short clips of each form that you need to fill in and then print it out and give it to me when I enter your classroom for classroom observation. First form is the lesson plan. Okay, um, so fill in all these necessary um, details and since it's a template, alright, so you look at each section and fill up each section. Example here, set induction uh, is the first thing that uh, you need to think about. So set induction is mostly only 5 minutes, please do not exceed 5 minutes for set induction. And over here is the teaching and learning activity. So what are your teaching and learning activities that you intend for your student on that day? Or how do you design instruction for your students on that day? Okay, for that particular lesson. Um, in this example, uh, the teaching and learning activity are as follows. Uh, students watch the YouTube video under materials and resources. Please provide the YouTube video link and title and then teacher ask these questions okay after the your students have watched the video then you can ask this question question one what is the carcinogen mentioned in the video number two how does the carcinogen affects humans at this point uh, please make sure that if your students want to answer the questions ask them to raise their hands first uh, do not encourage uh, chorus answers um, and the next part is the lesson outcomes. So your lesson outcomes uh, should have this this uh, sentence here. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to, or at the end of this lesson, candidates should be able to, and so on and so forth. Now, you have learned behaviorist theory, constructivist theory, okay, etc., etc., etc. So when you write the lesson outcomes. Please think of which theory you are looking at. It could be a combination. It's not always just one theory. It could be a combination. Right? And over here, you if you are using behaviorist theory, you will want to see the students change in behavior. If you're using constructivist theory, you won't want to see students construct something. So think of the verbs uh, of behavioral theory and think of the verbs that that shows construction of ideas okay is happening in your students uh, uh, minds at that point okay um over here under um resources or materials i am using uh ipad app called jot it down to show the lesson outcome to the students okay after that we move on to concept and skill development what are the concepts and what are the skills that you want to develop in your students? This is where your instruction actually comes in. Okay, uh, so for example here, I'm, I'm using flipped classroom. So I put down under concept and skill development, under teaching and learning activity. Prior to this lecture, students should have watched the recorded video on benzene before coming to class. Okay, and then what's the next uh, activity or what's the next uh, skill or step? The students were directed to get the handouts from their learning management system via their iPads. Okay, so the handouts here, the resources and materials are handouts in iPads. And then, okay, number three, students get into their groups upon entering the class. That means I've already divided them into groups prior to this lesson. And number four, students were asked to name the benzene compounds in the handouts in 10 minutes. So I give them the time and as lecturers or teachers, we keep the time. So once it's, it's, uh, it's done, it's done. Okay, next, number five, teacher led the discussion on the names of the benzene compounds with the whole class by inviting reps from each group to present the answers. Okay, at this point, you see that it's very clear and whoever actually um, observes your classroom they know exactly what is happening okay 
And then number six, students looked at the second handout in the iPads and they were asked to draw a dot and cross diagram on the iPad using Jot It Down app. So Jot It Down app is one app which is very flexible, you can draw and you can sketch on it. And number seven, each group then shared the answers via LMS or learning management system and students led the discussion. So that means uh, each group will take turn and they will discuss their answers uh, through their learning management system. Okay, number eight, the students are then asked to identify the orbitals uh, involved in the formation of benzene derivatives shown in their handouts. And how do they do this? They use an app, a free app called Mobile Hypercam, and I put it down here as well, which is an app in the iPad. I'm not sure about Android, uh, because I normally use iPad in the classroom. And students build some of the derivatives and explain the orbitals uh, involved in the formation of these molecules. So this is uh, how I use technology and how I incorporate technology into my classroom and uh, into my lessons. Okay. Now under assessment, we have to think whether the assessment, uh, what type of assessment we are using, whether it is assessment for learning, assessment as learning or assessment of learning okay there are differences now normally if you ask questions along the way um, uh, to guide the students and so on it is assessment for learning okay but I put here at the end of the lesson students enter their learning management system and complete the set of questions posted and please refer to appendix for classroom observation Please give me whatever handouts that you are using for your students so that I can see um, the questions, I can have a look at the questions and, and I can follow your class or your lesson, okay? Uh, second, teacher addresses misconceptions straight away. So when you do a quiz, on an online quiz, uh, in the learning management system for example, and if the teacher can view the answers then they can the teacher can actually uh, see some misconceptions and address those misconceptions straight away rather than wait for next week. Okay, number three, students were reminded to reflect on what they had learned today. Okay, this is my style of teaching. I always introduce reflection and that is how I know whether my students are there yet or they're not there yet or they're halfway there uh, and how they feel about uh, that particular topic whether it is dear to their hearts or whether it is something new to them okay so yes all my students uh they have done reflection before okay closure all right now for closure um i asked each group to present on what they understand what they do not understand uh in the ipad and uh, peer answer peers will answer the questions together. So they post this in the learning management system. Um, each group will say, okay, I understand this much and this is what I don't understand. Now another group or or other students will respond. Okay, so they will respond to the po to the point where they do not understand. So they are actually helping each other, collaborative work, cooperative work and so on and so forth. Okay, now this is the end for the um, lesson plan. Moving on, we will look at the um, assessment of performance in teaching. Now I've created one video on this, uh, but I'm not sure that you have gone through it. But anyway, have a look at the video. Um, I've gone through each part here. Uh, please go through each section and be prepared because these are the things that I will look for when I go into your classroom to uh, observe. Okay, that's one form. And the last form is the conference form. Uh, we do need the conference form because when I meet you uh, to discuss on areas of improvement, then we need to see which area needed improvement. Okay, uh, those who have not done yours um please uh, watch out in uh, in the in at modo sorry um i will uh, post it directly to you um and then what you need to do okay is to uh, print it out sign at the bottom here lecturer candidate signature 
and then scan it and post it back to me okay these are for those who have already gone through the observation uh, and you do not have the conference form at that point okay areas of improvement please pay attention to this assessment planning and instruction classroom management understanding curriculum and the learner uh, diversity and equity professionalism involvement in school uh, or community life okay so these are parts of your learning which you have to look at when you design your instruction or you design your lesson okay uh, this section uh, lecture candidates comments is um, after I have put in my comments here and the area for improvement on this side if you have any uh, anything to comment on this yes you can put in okay here and last but not least we will uh, upon agreement of the area of improvement on this side then we will both sign this is for those whom I have not yet uh, gone into your classroom to observe your your teaching uh, but those who have already done so um, I will post this conference form with my comments uh, just watch out for it uh, once you come back from your semester break, print it out and sign and then scan it and send it back to me. Okay, so that's about it for forms that you need to prepare for the uh, classroom observation. Okay, so I repeat. For the first one is, first form is lesson plan. Please make sure that you write it this way, the proper way. Okay, and the second one will be the um, assessment of performance in teaching. I need all the particulars here to be filled. And please circle, okay, whether it's the first observation or second observation. And last but not least will be the conference form. Okay, if you're not sure where to get it, uh, post uh, directly to me and I will give you a copy. Okay, thanks for listening and I wish you all the best. Bye.